Hi, my name is Tim Whitney. We're in a transit hut that was built in 1941, moved here in 1952. I've been here 20 years. I have a shop on the other side and another one. And this is my studio space. I went to uh, Otis Art Institute for a couple of semesters. I got accepted. Uh, then I took 20 students a year. And uh, I had a little disagreement with one of the teachers there. <laughs> and uh, so I left. And um, instead of taking the class over the next semester, I just left. and. Um, but I've, I've always uh, been into drawing and, and painting, and, but I got married, so all that got put on the back burner. And about six years ago, I got a divorce, and I've had time to go back and, and do this stuff. This is uh, one of my paintings, and um, it's acrylic, but I do something a little bit different than most artists. I use clear lacquer with my words. So I might paint, have so much painted, and then I clear lacquer the whole thing, and then wet sand, paint some more, and clear lacquer, and in the end, I'll buff it out and design the frame so that I never know what I'm going to do with frames, whatever comes in my mind. And this just happened to be, uh, I had some veneer and um, I just put this together and there it is. This was my grandfather and mother's house, barn, and their neighbor. I like to uh, take a lot of uh, things that older stuff and incorporate them into my work. I just let it flow when I start to work, and sometimes I get stumped, <laughs> and I have to sit back and look at it for a while, and then it comes to me and I finish it up. My grandfather's house and is in Maine, East Matthias, Maine, on Gardner's Lake. And this is a kind of, I spent all my summers here. So it's meaningful to me. This is also the same house, and um, it's just uh, how I remember it when I was a kid. I spent all my summers there. This was done, I did this painting probably five or six years ago. And this is, this is Bart from the tree. This is uh, the first frame I ever made uh, for a painting. And this was my grandfather's barn, which was across the street from the house. And uh, it, this was years after the parents died. I was in Vietnam, and um, reading a magazine, and this barn appeared in an ad for uh, one of the whiskey companies. So I kept that and uh, interpreted that into uh, that painting. This is a carving of mine. That's a piece of burl walnut. It's got one, two, three, six, seven pieces 
the rest is just a solid block. And um, the hands, I must have done four or five sets before I did a pair that I liked. And um, she's finished with laughter. This is a uh, punda punda, it's African wood. And um, I had to cut it and join those together, so I did the, the sap wood where I wanted it, in the bill and in the bat. And this is a piece of burl walnut that um, I, I tried to create the illusion of water. This one is a solid piece of burl walnut. I typed it out of a block. Very delicate. I told her, Lucy, I don't know why, but, um, and then it's finished with laughter. This is a piece of driftwood. And this that I made it out of, uh, it was, it's wood, but then I used a body filler to just kind of fill all the areas in, make them smooth. And I'm going to have a foot coming out of here, like he's in a wave, he's a taut in a wave, and um, he's uh, trying to uh, adjust for what's going on with him. This part of the sign I found in the street, next street over, and uh, so I made the, the post and this uh, arm here. Then I got these old saw blades and uh, I took them and had these three welded together and I just made a sign. And uh, everybody comes by, they really like it. <laughs> so I've had that probably 20 years almost. I finished this painting uh, about six months ago and I just didn't know what I wanted to do for a frame. This uh, guy that I buy from, come by with these, these big boards that were kind of rounded off at the top, and they sat around here for months, and I just I couldn't figure out what to do with them. And I didn't know what they were. So anyway, I took them apart and ripped it up to make the actual frame out of. And uh, so I'm almost, I'm almost done with that. I'll be able to hang it. The horse I bought in Maine. And it had a real fancy surrey on it with wooden fenders and... So I brought it out here. I bought it, brought it out here. And I had it in my antique store just as you walked in, and people would tell me that their picture taken in the Surrey, and um, he's uh, well, what, mid 1800s, 1850, and he's in really excellent condition. Um, I sold the Surrey, and the gentleman that bought the Surrey took it up to Templeton uh, Restorations, and they, although it was in beautiful shape, they restored that. She spent 13000 more dollars on it, and about two years later, I saw it in the worst grade. 